Welcome to No Man's Sky Permadeath Mode. Now, I'm currently here in my home base just checking out my plants. I think this is my kind of growing area. My Mordite's just grown up, so I think we'll harvest that. Because I, I think it's time to now start gathering some cash and moving this Let's Play forward. And I've also have a little bit of a conundrum because... This is being recorded in the first week in June 2017, if you're watching this in the future. And Hello Games has done something really strange. They have sent audio cassettes out to, well, supposedly 16 Reddit moderators, well, along with some other goodies. And although no one's actually confirmed everyone, there's only a few. And on these audio tapes, there were some quite interesting music and there was also some strange audio sequence which some guys have enthusiastically decoded and I'm not even going to pretend to understand how they actually did it it's something to do with spectrographs and then putting it through decoders and they actually got an image from uh, an audio file then they turned that into hexadecimal which they then put change to ASCII and they got the word portal and of course if any of you guys are familiar with the game you you probably re remember that well if you played the game since when it first came out you will remember, probably be aware that portals were the thing I remember I could imagine I spent hours playing looking for portals and I only ever found two and there was all sorts of theories on how to find them. To be honest, none of them worked for me. I'm, my first portal I actually found purely by accident, kind of flying across the surface of the planet. I think we'll just go in and and, and then I spent quite a few hours. I think I, I I shared this experience with many other people, trying to unlock portals, trying to find out what the purpose they were, and. I think eventually every the, the general conclusion was that portals um, weren't active within the game and then basically everything went nice and quiet and we all got back down to playing the game and I mean a lot of guys just left the game in disgust because of it but I mean me it was just something and there's all sorts of conspiracy theories and the arrival of these cassettes is open that debate all the way up again now the one theory I kind of agree with is that we are coming up I mean there's already been a lot of speculation about when the next update were coming out I mean personally I was expecting it the end of June beginning of July just gonna see what this, what this guy's ships like so it doesn't surprise me that Hello Games has done something to kind of advertise or no, this is smaller than what I've currently got to promote the new update it's the kind of enigmatic way they seem to be doing things and but it has created this massive speculation about oh that looks like it's a fighter Let's have a quick check of that yeah it has woken up no this is a shuttle oh well we'll check it out anyway it has woken up all this speculation that the next update will contain portals which to me is a very exciting concept even if they are were incredibly frustrated and it does bring back memories of frustration 23 slots my current one is 22 slots and I've got one upgrade thrusters and it's gonna cost me 1 million to go up and it's another shuttle now I, I want a hauler really um, if that was a hoarder, I would have gone for it, guys. Yeah, so it has brought back some memories. And I thought what I'll do in this part is we'll do some general gameplay. I've, I need to start working on one or two things. Like, I, I do need to work on my journey here. Because I, as somebody pointed out in the comments, I could, apologies, I can't remember your name offhand. It's quite early in the morning as usual. I do need to get in and start destroying some starships, getting this up and I need to kind of work on these lower ones especially like naturalist and extreme conditions because these take time to work out and 
so I thought what we're going to do is get out and do some exploration. And I've got no idea what system we're on, actually on. It's what host? Actually, I'm not even sure. Uh, I've got I've got some. We could do jump to another planet if necessary. Let's just gold and copper. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's 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 do a hop because I'm going to buy another ship. I want to use up my warp drives. And four planets, one moon. And I've already discovered that. Well, I don't really want to. Actually, let's. I've, I've done this for a long time. What is along the path here? Three planets, two moons. And that's too far. Okay. It's. Let's just let's have a look round and see what we can see. Four planets. Yeah, we need a warp reactor for that. It's just two planets. That's not going to be much use. Six planets. Okay, let's go for six planets. Yeah, so this event has woken up a lot of speculation about what is involved and, well, exciting things guys but it does give me a dilemma because if you've been following the series you'd be aware that I've kind of said that the the next update comes I will drop my survival mode and keep going with the perma death mode because obviously I can't run more and we are now a rover we've walked 15 times and but if it is about portals and if the whole update is just about portals then I'm going to need the survival one because that's sufficiently advanced for me to go across wandering across planetary surfaces to look for portals and activate them so that gives me this dilemma of like which series would I keep going but I'm not going to make a choice now simply because we don't also know what will be in the update. I mean, it could be a major update. It could just be a single update to do with portals, and that's it. And then we will all go off chasing, look, trying to find portals. I mean, to be honest, I've been playing quite a few hours now since the beginning of the year, and I've done quite a lot of planetary exploration, and I have not yet found a portal since the Foundation update came out. So that's an interesting one. I mean, I'm not even totally sure. I'm, I'm, well, I'm pretty certain that the portals are in the game, but I think they're even more rarer than they were originally. So let's just have a look here. Facial there. Well, yeah, we've got to smack him in the teeth. You always strike back with a Vakeen because they... And we've got a Bulkcast Eclipse Sigma. Mm, yeah, well, I'm not particularly that interested in that. I don't know if I've got anything else to sell. Nope. Right, let's see what tech this guy's got. Yeah, so when the update comes out, which could be in the next couple of weeks, guys, I will make a decision on which one series or whether I keep both going. Wow, we've got 320. And that could be useful. Mining beam strengthened, plus three. Range booster. Recall stabilizer, scatter gun. Mm, yep. Uh, Range boost sigma. I certainly like the beam intensifier theta. That's that's quite a high level uh, beam tech. So I think we're going to stick around here. I, I've, I've got nanites, but I don't actually have any nanites on me. That's why I've got zero nanites. It doesn't mean I don't have any nanites. It just means that I've got them currently stored in my vault. But I'm not going to go back to that now. I think what we're going to do here. Um, there's no. <sighs> No thing here. So I think we're going to go down and do a bit of exploration. Let's just have a check to see if I've got iridium. Yes, I've got iridium. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, so that's going to be the situation, guys. Let's tap Got an abandoned building. Where's the abandoned building? 
on this planet here. I mean, I am going to risk a little bit of controversy while I'm doing this guy's golden career here. Yeah. That's probably being crawling with hostile sentinels. I don't particularly want to go deal with hostile sentinels. Let's just check out the Hopper Popeye. Now, I think we're going to just go for this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to put it out there, guys. What do you think portals are for? I mean, I'll, I'll give you my... Oh, bugger kind of take on portals it's based on speculation I made months and months ago and and of course that has changed because we've now got uh, bases we've now got freighters but my original idea of a portal was being able to travel across well I had two theories actually I had one theory which is kind of probably redundant now which was the ability to teleport between locations but now because we've got bases with teleporters on them that to me that seems a little bit redundant to be honest I mean you can set your own chain up I suppose you could travel vast distances but would you want to if you had if you had to stay near a portal to get back again especially now that you've actually got a base and my other theory was that portals were going to be a way to travel between galaxies in the sense that that once you get because at the moment I mean in my first series I got to the center of the galaxy and I went to the next one I can't remember what, well, I even remember what it's called now actually such a long time since I've been there and my theory was that a portal was going to be a means to oh yeah we got a base here so we're just gonna land was going to be a means of getting back to the Euclid galaxy so that if you went to another galaxy looks like we got a hop hopping cushion here caustic dust so we're going to have to keep an eye on that well, I think we will grab the I think we'll scan the and we'll just get into here oh bloody hell crap 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 Well, I wanted to get my journey time up. Oh. Yeah, so that was my theory that portals were going to be a way to travel between galaxies. Well, to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. Because I don't think anyone really knows. Well, I suppose somebody in Hello Games knows. And they've been keeping it a great guarded secret. What we got here? Two, one, two, six, three, two, so six, four, six is a twenty-four. So it'd be seven hundred and twenty. And we've got a distress signal. Now, the question is: This is an extreme planet. I've got my ships a bit clogged up with resources. And is do I really, really want to go? How far away is this? A crash ship two hours away. I've got a iridium to repair it. Mm, we've got quite a lot of iron. So we, if we could do the transfer, I've got space in in here, and we've got shielding plates. Mm, very very tempted to check this. Trouble is, we're in the middle of a storm. Okay, that's. Where's my ship? This the ship. Run, 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 run. Yep, I think we're going to check this crash ship out, guys. Hopefully. How far away is it? Two hours. We're going to have to go up into space. How am I off for of plutonium? Got loads of plutonium, so okay, we're gonna get up into space. It's, I mean, if it's a nice big ship, I'm, I'm gonna be inclined to try and make a grab for it. 
that we get a nice kind of free upgrade. Guys, still coming in at me. Trouble is, with those guys around, if I pick up a crash ship, we're, we're going to be vulnerable. I think what we're going to do is just kind of go up into space. I think, see if we can get rid of these pirates or whoever turns up. Where's the planet gone? Do we want to fight them? Am I going to be a bit crazy? Okay. No, I think we're just ducked down. They didn't show up, so... And now they'll probably follow me down onto the planet and kill me. And then that will solve my problem over which series to do, because I'll be starting permadeath all over again. <laughs> that would be ironic. Right, guys. Let's just go down and have a look see see what we've got here in the way of a crash ship as I say I've got the resources and it's on the other side of this mountain and let's have a look see probably going to be a real turkey of a Five seconds away, there it is. Can I see it? Oh, I like this. Bet you it's not going to have a massive. Now, if that's got a substantial increase in capacity, I could, I could get, I could, I could get to like this, guys. Okay, let's. See if I can get a landing close by. If I can still, uh, if I can find it again, that's going to be the problem. There it is, it's tucked up in over here. I'm going to have to try and get close because we're on extreme planet. So, ah, and it's not going to let. Oh yeah, let's let me land. But we're in the middle of a storm, so. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to be very, very quick with this. Yes, I know. Toxic protection falling. When I lost a time, has come up. 24 slots. 22. It's a B cast shuttle. Nah. Yes, I know. Okay, guys, run, 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 run. Oh, come on. Yes, I know. No, no, no. We're right out. Ah. Oh, well, it was worth a look, guys. But if it had been a hauler, I, I might have gone for it, guys. But I don't really want another shuttle. I mean, if I'm going to be totally honest. And. Yeah. They're fun, and yes, um, I've been. But I, I think it, I, my ideal for a new ship is a hauler. I will take a, an explorer, I, because I, I want something with a bit of capacity and increased shield capability. And I don't really want to be on an extreme planet. Okay, let's let's, let's get out of here, guys, and see if we can find something that's a bit more friendly. Is for a scan, and that's probably going to be hostile sentinels. There's the space station. Let's head for the space station. Get to here and kind of reorientate ourselves. Okay, there's another planet 
around the back of the space station. I mean, I could do another, just push off and do another hop, but I think sometimes you do need to explore these planets. What we got over here? That's got aluminium and iridium. Oh, this is all going to be all kind of hostile planets. Uh, nah, I, I think I think I've got enough for another jump. Okay, this is six planets. This is four planets, one moon, but we've discovered it. it seems as like I'm trapped on the. Okay, let's see what you. You're six planets, the path to the galaxy is uh, three planets, two moons. I just got to get another warp drive. We've got to find Narda and Polo. Okay, let's let's go here. It's got less. I mean, it's still got five terrestrial bodies to explore. So, and we're right in the middle of a space battle, guys. I think we'll just have a look at this. I'm not going to get involved. Purely and simply, it's quite a cool looking freighter in the background there. Is that with only tier one shields and light weapons, get involved in a space battle is can be a very, very high risk. Especially for permadeath mode, because if you kind of watch the battle. There's lots of beams going, but they don't actually seem to kill any ships. If you actually look there, see, I mean, it's bombarding that ship there. But that, the ships are not actually dying. It's, it, and what actually seems to happen is that you've got to go in and kill the ships. And there's probably about um, five, six hostiles in there. And you really need reasonable shields and... A, so quite a high level of knockdown capability to take on a space battle. Also there's a very high risk that if you hit the freighter or a friendly they will all turn on you and you and if that happens you will die incredibly quickly if you can't bug out and get away especially if the freighter starts hitting you because you just can't seem to get away from them. Anyway that's about a little bit about space battles. I mean, yes, once you've got a reasonable ship with possibly all, all the levels of shielding and uh, an offensive capability that means that you can knock down hostiles very, very quickly, well, maybe that's a reason to try out the new weapons. But if you can knock down them, the hostiles very quickly, I mean, once you've got that capability, you can actually go head to head with. Uh, sentinel ships and you can even knock out a freighter I mean I actually did that in my first let's play I actually raided a freighter but that was a totally different world away I think with survival mode and and all that that the, they're a bit more beefed up here panic life form uh, record message playing it sequence is furious I think we're reporting for cowardness as forced to face his own fate I am thanked for my report your standing with the Vakeen has increased. Okay, is that it? Wow. Oh. Okay, I was hoping for a bit more than that. Okay, let's see what this guy's got in the way of technology. And give me your nanite clusters and I will grant you blueprints, upgrades to your pathetic weapons. I am forced to trade for nanite clusters. Rebound grenade, combat 160. Oh, that could be useful. That gives me 60 combat amplifier tile. Focus the laser optics to allow more effective beam damage during moments of violence. Uh, that could that could be a useful addition to my multi tool. Let's so have a look at my multi tool. I haven't looked at it for a long time. I think maybe it is time to kind of upgrade it. Oh, we got the cash. I think maybe we're come there. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. So what I'm going to do is 
go back to my base because I've got nanites stashed in my own base so I'm just going to go back to my base guys and grab some nanites and I'll be right back well guys here we are we're back I've picked up my nanites to be able to get that technology I've also picked up some nip nip plants which we're going to sell they've grown up so we might as well make a little bit of cash that looks very much like another shuttle yep don't like those always get the feeling with those ships as though it should be towing something or there should be another attached it's almost like that's just the cab so let's sell off the nip nip plants let's get rid of those Just we can get to buy some zinc while we're at it. I think we've got plenty of plutonium, so we don't need the plutonium. And we'll just get that tech from this handsome looking guy. Okay. And we'll buy the combat amp for via toil. See what we're probably gonna have to what we need for a combat amplifier tile. We need some chrysonite, okay. I think I've got chrysonite back on the base, but I'm not gonna go back there just yet, guys. I think we're gonna do a bit of exploration. Hopefully that space battle would have finished by now. If not, it's gonna be a pain in the neck trying to get down on the planet. Maybe we'll go look for a portal. That'd be fun. A five hour part wandering across the surface. I think what I'm going to have to do is if if they are very serious about bringing portals back, I'm going to have to go and look down the old blogs just to see if we can find all the theories that people had for finding portals. Yeah, portals are big structures on the planet you cannot find them in search and they're like a uh, they're tied with monoliths and ruins and they just kind of sit in the landscape they're quite really big things but at the moment they do absolutely nothing they were very rare when the game first came out it, not every planet seemed to have them and but I'm, I've got, I'm prepared to guess that they're probably even rarer now. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on that. And let's just write a scan, see if we can find a base. And people came up with all sorts of strange theories on how to find them. To do with the flags and the, the, the kind of attachments to ruins and that. That you've, the, you went in the direction of the flag and... Oh, it was, it was crazy, guys. It was a very crazy time with people trying to solve the riddle of the portals. And I will confess, I did get a little bit picked up in it. You see, here we've got just a monolith. Monoliths are no good. You've got to find ruins. And ruins have flags on them. And people theorised that by looking at the flags, you could tell what direction a portal was. Or whether and, and if, if a ruin had flags on it, then that told you that there was a portal on that on the planet. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll just go and do this. So let's see if we can find a base to touch down on, God. And I've found a drop pod. There we are, guys. Ask and thou shalt receive. So we're on standard planet. We might as well grab the base because we don't need to rush around trying to avoid getting killed. So we can grab that. What on the plan? Plane of Oxypius. Suspension fluid. Two suspension fluids. Okay. And I think we'll just nip in. Ah, 
and this is going to 110,000. Uh, I think we can afford that. And we've now got uh, not 22 slots, we've got 24 slots in our exosuit, and I should have sold stored that to Nero. Okay. I wasn't paying attention when I picked that up. I harvested that when I went back to get the nanites. Okay, actually let's might as well check the area out and see what's going on. Might, I mean, there might not be much here, but you've got to take advantage of the situation. There's some platinum there. We got that could be resources. I'm certainly going to kill the lash plant on principle. So we got some emerald or something over there. This could uh, this looks like a bit of test and pod power canister. Well, uh, I mean, I don't. I think we got famine. We got carbon. Let's see what else we got? Okay, for iron, we got iridium. We got enough plutonium for a few takeoffs and landings. We'll be a bit relaxed on that. So we got all the basics. So maybe we can just have a quick look round. I'm not going to deploy the exocraft. What on earth was that? Before I heard something. And we got friendly sentinels. And we got another lash plant. We'll get rid of them. Knock them hell off. We might as well. Decrease the lash plant population. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much around here, guys. Can't even see any plutonium. Ah, oh, there's a bit of plutonium over here. We'll, we'll take that on principle, just to get a bit of a return on the cost of landing here. Actually, it looks like we might get it all back. Actually, this is quite a nice big watch. Nearly missed it. Actually, hello, Mr. Sentinel. Go away. I don't want to kill you. Not just at the moment. I've got other things on my mind. Right guys, I think that's it. Let's just go now looking for a base. So and that's a should charge the thrusters straight away. We'll use that up actually. And the quest for a base continues so again I'll see you once I find a base or anything of interest uh, if I find a portal definitely we'll land on it in my dreams in my dreams and guess what guys we found another drop pod so if the drop in on the drop pod Might as well go for them when you see them. Again, there's not much else around, but I think we're... I know I wanted to spend my cash on ships, but... 120,000... I think that's really, really cool. We've got two expansions for our... And we've got some more plutonium to make up for the fact that we're down on this planet and I think we can also throw out another scan see what's around there's some kind of hopping thing over here some plutonium over that way what on earth is that Hopping sponge. Yeah, it's a big boy. Has some big watches of plutonium down here. With us, obviously they were on a spongy planet. Oh, that's cute. Cute hopping sponges. And the planet of Walker. Oh, really, really cute looking.
creature there. Hello. Right, I'm saying we might as well get the compensation for the cost of landing here. Let me grab a bit of carbon. See how many, how many of these hopping sponges are on this planet? Okay, let's have a quick look, guys. Uh, I might as well upload them, make a bit of cash, make back some of the cash that we've spent on here. Let's might as well just upload these. Get some cash back. So we've made 29,000 here, any more? I definitely like these, look. A cute hopping sponge, any more around here? Some more here, actually. There's another one around the back. Over here. Newly discovered. Oops. Sorry. Any more? It looks like there's one down that way. What on earth is that? Okay, let's go down and get them. We all need to do this to complete our journey. So we've got six species left. We've already discovered this species. There's another one right over there. Let's see what that is. Sorry for the distraction, guys, but I think these are relatively harmless. <laughs> Fascinated by the idea of hopping plants. Imagine that hopping down your garden. That would make um, growing things an interesting experience, wouldn't it? If your plants wandered off into the next door neighbour's garden when you were uh, not looking. Oh, yes, it says there's something down in here. What we got here now? This fungus planet. Newly discovered. Oh, we might as well get the knowledge stone while we're at it. Anything else new around here? Oh, there's something else over there. Let's go check that out. Don't want to get pulled too far away from our ship because you never know what's going to happen. Ah, see what I mean? Okay, guys, we're a little bit too far away from our ship. And we're in the middle of a storm, and I don't think I've got this. Okay, I'm in trouble. I haven't had to resort to this for a very, very long time. But. God, I didn't think I'd ever have to. Oh, I didn't think I'd have to do this for a game. Well, that was a bit close. Right, let's see. Do I have shields to put there in my ship? I've got one shield. I think we can recharge this. Right, I've got one shielding plate. Uh, it's not going to get me very far, is it? Uh, it's a teach me, won't it? Okay, guys, I'm going to stand here for a little while. Get back to the old technique. As I said, I didn't think I'd be doing this again. <laughs> And I'll see you once either the storm's gone or I've recharged my defences. So I'll see you in a minute. Well guys, that took a little while to do. But we should be able to get back towards our ship now. Oh, it's... Yeah. Yeah, that was nearly a costly mistake there. Um, I'm getting too fascinated with the animals and this is one of the hazards of Spadonian plants. They look very benign that you can wander around and kind of do lots of interesting things and then you get that type of curveball come out at you. You can see here I'd have never got back to my ship without decent protection and I didn't have the decent protection, I only had the one shielding shard. 
which I've now used up. So it goes to show that you cannot afford to get complacent in this game. I uh, don't think there's any more. I think I've picked up all the the wandering plants around here. Hello, Mr. Bouncing Bush. I'm also aware of the time, and I did say originally that this was going to be a short part, and I think it's got a bit longer than uh, I originally planned. So I think maybe I do need to consider winding this part up. What we are going to do is we're going to have one more look for a, a base to put down on. So we're just going to pop up the thrusters. Nope, all done. Nice, thank you. So we're going to have one more look for a base just to wind this part up, guys. I mean, I don't want to use my exocraft on this planet. This is just more, a little bit of fun. But let's see a quick look actually. Discoveries. Well, I've discovered five out of ten, so maybe maybe we can stay here and try and get all the species. But I do need to do this just to, so that I can get the text from Nada and Polo. So we're just gonna fly across the surface, guys, see if we can what we can find. I think getting the the two extra spaces, getting 25 slots in here is going to make a big difference as well. I mean, because I do need to work, work towards getting all 48 slots on my exosuit. And there's, I mean, there's lots of things to do. Um, no, that's just a minor base. And that's, I don't that's bought, that looks very suspiciously like water rather than a sand and I do need a new ship I, I just feel a bit cramped by this ship now I, I certainly I'm missing not having a hauler with some extra shield defense and a lot more carrying capacity and I think that does need to be an objective what have we got here guys let's just have a quick look I found a base, but I can't actually see uh, a landing, free landing point on it, guys. I'm a bit mystified why a base would be sat out here in the middle of nowhere. Or is it uh, an abandoned building? Let's just go down and have a look. So if we can see, I think it's an abandoned building actually guys let's just see if I can spin round what is this? yep yeah, it's an abandoned building guys and I think we should be able to get inside it and actually look round inside like this. Some really weird looking. Uh, I don't know if that's it's going to be worth the effort to land on it. I've Maybe. Okay. Nah, I don't think I'm going to bother. Actually, I think this is where I'm going to wind it up, guys. I've been wandering across this planet for some time, and I think that's a bit flashing up there. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. It's, I think we've covered a lot in this part, and again, I've, I know I've been talking a lot a bit about cassettes and portals. But I think it's very important that with an update coming, that it's something to look forward to, something to think about and you never know what's going to happen and so on that kind of thought guys this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>